Good morning! It is day 24 of prep and we're gonna do a full day of eating video. Uh, before we begin with that, 30 minutes before breakfast I always take AdvoCare's MNSE First Strip Pack which is uh, has metabolic enhancement in it and a probiotic and some metabolism enhancers. So that will be 30 minutes before breakfast and then we will begin! <laughs> Breakfast is ready. For the smoothie, I used silk cashew milk, only two grams of fat in a whole cup. So that's what I used. And then put some organic matcha in there and AdvoCare's greens powder, which is filled with awesome greens and vegetable fiber, enzyme, prebiotic, probiotic blend. So, and then this smoothie also has a bunch of berries, um, some a little bit of banana, not too much because it's pretty high in carbs. Um, but yeah, blueberries and blackberries. And then on my toast, this is something that I just love to do. Um, on my toast, I put some French onion laughing cow cheese. I think it's only 35 calories for a piece of it. And so I just kind of spread it on there and then put my egg on top and it's delicious and then um yeah guac on my four egg whites so i'm gonna eat and then we'll continue on hello so i am now outside of snap fitness about to do my lift i wasn't able to video my last meal because i was working but i had some uh, ribeye roast is what it is called um, but it only had 3.5 grams of fat in four ounces of it which is super awesome um, so always be on the lookout when you're buying meat because you might end up stumbling upon something that is really lean that you might not have expected uh, and then on top of that I put Stubbs barbecue sauce only has six grams of carbs in a serving of it in comparison to uh, Sweet Baby Ray's that has 17 grams of carbs and it's all sugar so uh, saving out on that added sugar is awesome and then I also had some granola just to get some carbs in too before I worked out um, and for my pre-workout I had AdvoCare Spark and then uh, I had creatine and beta alanine. I love the way that combination makes me feel and perform. So um, that's what I do. Time for post workout meal. It is a combination of 200 grams of sweet potato for uh, three ounces of chicken. Yeah, three ounces of chicken. Um, a little bit of cinnamon roll protein powder mixed with sugar free syrup drizzled on top with cinnamon. I've never had this before. Could be really good, could be really weird, could be both. Um, so I'm gonna dig in and let this fuel my body and talk to you guys later. It's delicious. All right, so I am on my next meal of the day and I haven't had as many calories as I normally would have by this point, but I've been pretty busy, so um, it, it is what it is. You can eat when you can eat and I'm not super um, intense about you know eating every three hours or anything like that I just really do what I can do um, but try not to focus on how long in between because if I do that then I get kind of obsessive so I learned from last time to not be it needs to be this way so for this meal I am having a serving of spinach with uh, the uh, ribeye that I talked about earlier and some of the barbecue sauce dribble dri uh, drizzled on top and some low-fat uh, sharp cheddar cheese so and then for my carbs I am doing uh, it's Bob Mills um, 10 grain oats um, but it's kind of just a medley of different grains um, and it's delicious and then in that I put 22 grams of peanut butter a half a serving of cinnamon roll protein powder and cinnamon and sugar-free syrup Hey Dylan, what's your next meal? I'm about to eat this whole pizza because I have double carbs today as prescribed by my fitness coach, aka that woman right there. <laughs> so I'm gonna eat this whole thing and enjoy it thoroughly. I'm glad that we put these videos together so that you don't have to watch me eat and see how disturbingly fast I just ate that last meal. Um, but, <laughs> but now I'm gonna eat something that I discovered yesterday 
well, I didn't really discover it. I just kind of created it. And it's going to seem strange, but it's actually really refreshing and delicious. 100 calorie blueberry Greek yogurt with cucumber, right? You can have so much cucumber for like five grams of carbs. It's crazy. It's an awesome prep food. And not that I need high volume foods right now, but the cucumber dipped in the yogurt is really good. So even though it's kind of weird and it's next to Dylan's whole pepperoni pizza, I'm going to enjoy it. So. All right. So now I am going to have just a little snack. Um, I just found these wraps and they are so yummy. La Tortilla Factory low carb tortillas. Uh, they have... 2.5 grams of fat, 11 grams of carbs, and 5 grams of protein. And on that, I put about 20 grams of natural Jif honey peanut butter. And as you can see, I already kind of dove into that. Forgot, I got so excited. And me and Dylan are going to a movie tonight with our friends, so as a treat, I am bringing some Halo Top uh, chocolate mocha chip ice cream to have to finish off my macros for the day. So thank you for watching and we'll see you soon.